What's going on, everybody? It is your boy. And today we got us a great review, on a, not really a review, a list, a new thing I'm starting. Hope you enjoy it. Before we do that, I want to say thank you. Thank you for everybody showing up and showing the love. We appreciate it. And if you are new, hit the like and subscribe, baby. Join this fat boy family. It gets me so pumped to say it. I'm so glad to have you here. We're going to have a great time. We always do. If you like a place of positivity, of energy, and somebody who gives it to you 100%, hit the like and subscribe. Get the notifications. Because guess what? I put in the work every day, baby video every day. I don't do videos on Sunday. Sometimes I do lives, either Sunday or Saturday. We got a live stream coming up this weekend. Don't know which day it's going to be yet. Stay tuned for more details on that. But let's get all up it. Let's not mess around. Today I'm giving you some Rosa Dove alternatives. Clones that you can try instead of Rosa Dove because it's very expensive. I'm going to start this series now. I'm going to be highlighting different houses. And I'm going to give you clone options from different clone houses of the ones that I have. Only the ones I have. Ones I've smelled the OG. I either have it or I've had it. And I can tell you a real great answer to it. So let's get all up in this list. I can't wait to share my opinions with you. And you know how we do it, baby. No edits. No do-overs. One take and one take and we get it right. That way, fragrance review starts now. to get up in this list. Let's first talk about the four Roja Doves that I do own. Alright, first one. Of course, you've heard me talk about Oceana. Great Roja Dove fragrance. Oh, one of my favorite summer fragrances from a niche house. Oh my god, to wear this in the summer. I love this fragrance. Freaking amazing. Love it, but super expensive. $375, 400 bucks. Very expensive. Performance is decent. Next one was the first Rosa Dove I ever bought. And this is like my fourth bottle of this one. It sells really well in my store. I need to buy some more. Elysium Cologne. Well, I'm just going to say Elysium in general. Because I don't own the Elysium Parfum. I know there's some subtle differences. But they, they both kind of smell almost the same. But for now, Elysium Cologne is the one I own. And there it is. Man, this one right here. Just a staple. Just a classic. Just one of those... Up there with Adventist to me. It's just one of those great fragrances. Alright. I also own Creation E. This one I should not like and I almost sold. But my wife said she liked the way it smelled and I kept it. Which blew my mind. Creation E from Rosa Dove is one of those fragrances that has this beautiful Coca-Cola note. That I absolutely love when I smell it. And this is beast performing fragrance. Great fragrance. And the last one is my newest Rosa Dove. And that one is Apex. Love Apex. Love it. It's a modern take on a Fougere. It's very well kind of controversial or your Rosa Dove purist rather smell Britannia, which I don't understand. But Apex to me is a hit for them. A great fragrance and I hope they keep making it. Roses of Ace Picks. All right, so we're trying to find some solutions. I'm going to give you my picks for best one. Now, a couple of these, I only have one house of them. So these are the only ones I can offer you. Or they ha or a lot of houses haven't cloned them yet. So we'll start off with Apex first. There it is. For me, easy. Because the only one I have, and that is from Dua. And they call theirs... Predator play on Apex. So these two right here, I've already done a video on this. I'll be leaving the link below to the video on this. They're the spot on, you know, 95, 99% there. Very little difference. These are perfect. Apex will set you back close to $350, $300. This will set you back about $35 bucks for a 3ml. Still cheaper to buy three of these than it is to buy one of these. Way cheaper. 
half the price or even uh, less than half the price. So, this would be a great sub to for if you want to try Apex, go with the Duas version of it called Predator. You want to sample both of these? You can. Right now, what we're uh, to, correlate, co to, to correlate with this video, we have a special, special uh, link up, a listing up, only going to be up for like three or four days, and it's where you can sample all these in one sample pack for one low price. I'll be leaving the link below, and that is over at FatboyFragrance.com. FatboyFragrance.com, where the customers always write. That is my personal decant site. I decant. I sell them, I get them out quick to you, fastest shipping in the game, and now we got a little bit special to go with these, I'll be doing this with every single clone house, kind of, compare every kind of video like this I do, I will offer you a special deal to try all four of them, or all five, how many there is, at one low price, bundled up, sent to you, of course, free shipping in the United States, and fast shipping at FatboyFragrance.com, where the customer is always right, alright, so, Apex Predator is just as good enough as Apex. That's my choice. It's my only choice right now. All right, moving on. Let's go ahead and do the other one that's got the only choice I have, and that is Creation E. But I will tell you something. Dua masterfully killed it with Midnight in the Mobster. This one does not smell any way off. It smells exactly like Creation E. These are so close that I don't think there's not even the purist could tell you the difference in these two. Even the juice is the right color. I mean, these are so close and so perfect that definitely, definitely, there's no difference. This one runs about 250. You can get four, three of these to make up a 100 ml for half of that price. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, you only need 130 ml. It'll last you at least a half a year. You know, if you don't, if you have a bunch of fragrances, this is this is enough to last. I mean, this is beast performance. It outperforms this one. This one already performs amazing. So these two right here, perfect blends, perfect copy of, of their OG, and smells freaking amazing, amazing. All right, so and I and I didn't get this fragrance like I said to my wife. Really got me into it. Kudos to her. I almost got rid of it. I got rid of Scandal, and I regret getting rid of that one. I didn't have any clones of that one, so I didn't want to compare that one. But there you go. If you want to uh, alternate to this great fragrance, try Dua's Midnight with a Mouse. All right, moving on. Elysium. I went a different route with Elysium. I chose my favorite that lasts the longest. To me, smells the best. And it's just one of my favorite fragrances to pick up and wear. And that's when the, there is Elysium, of course. And I chose extract from Parfums Vintage. Oh man, this one's so close. But I think it has its own unique twist on it that it really, it really is just a little bit stouter than this one. It has amped up Elysium. Made, this is more probably like the, the, the EDP or the Parfum than it is like the Cologne. But I love this version of Elysium the most of all the Cologne houses. Price-wise, <laughs> it's only a hundred dollars difference to buy this one than that one. It's still cheaper. 150, 250. So you're still cheaper off buying this, and it's high quality. It's gonna smell great. Parfums Vintage killed it with soil extract. Just enough. They're both great though, but I think this one way, way outperforms the original. Alright, so there you go. One left, one left. And I kind of saved this one for last for, on purpose so I can kind of give you uh, my explanation for why I picked this one. All right, so the fragrance is Oceana. I have three clones of Oceana, really four. And those are, I got one, I can't remember what it was from King Fragrances, and I can't remember what it is. That was my least favorite. I have Dua's Ocean of Dua. I have Making Sense Triton. And I have Central Sessions Florida Waves. Of those three, the one I recommend the most for replacing this, which is very expensive, is Making Sense Florida Waves. Congratulations. 
There's your kind of me telling you which one's the best. This one outperforms this one. This one smells almost identical to it. Very little subtle differences. This one's hard to get perfect. It's such a beautiful fragrance. It's so delicate. But Making Sense Florida Waves is the best alternative you can get to Oceana. That is my opinion. That's what I believe. And that's it. So there you have it. You have some great alternatives to a very expensive fragrance line. This is what clones should do. Let me know of what houses you would like me to do next or what concepts as far as clone houses, who does what better, some idea you want. I think I'm gonna do a discontinue one soon if I can get some more of other fragrances so I can kinda of give you what I think that would be a great list of. But I think we'll have a bunch of doers so I'm not really sure if I'll do that one yet. But I think for the next one, I'm going to do um, maybe MFK or uh, or even Aqua Gio. Because there's some discontinued Aqua Gios now. We're seeing a lot more clones of those. I'll come up with something. I'll, oh, there went the lid. No edits. All right. That's all the time I got, baby. I'm glad y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay well. Because if you smell good, baby, and you feel good, baby, then it's going to be all good. Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews is out.